Hi guys, um, normally the repair videos are obviously unlisted and, and can't be seen by uh, normal YouTube members as they're only for uh, uh, the qualified TV engineers on the forum but uh, uh, this one is going to be slightly different. I am going to make this available to everybody as a warning. Um, this is a very nice Panasonic LCD TV, well it was, it's a TXL37G10B and um, What's happened is the customer uh, has seen a dongle on uh, YouTube, sorry, on uh, eBay uh, to turn it into a smart TV. And uh, this is what it is. It's uh, a Meezy. <laughs> I don't know how they think these names up, they're idiots. Um, and if I can take it out. It's uh, it's called a smart TV dongle, and you can see there that it needs uh, five volt input. Designed in the USA, but you know, obviously made in uh, China. So what he has done is uh, has plugged it into the side of the set on the HDMI four input. He has then uh, already bought a 5 volt adapter from eBay again and I'm guessing it's a, it was a very cheap one and uh, we'll see why in just a second and uh, he's basically connected up the power into here and uh, turned the set on and then turned the mains on to this power supply which I'll show you in a second there was an almighty bang, uh, the fuse box in the house was uh, tripped instantly according to the customer and, uh, and this is why the power supply came with an adapter and uh, it's obviously a you know, UK 3 pin and uh, allows a 2 pin connector to be put in. This is one of these classic, cheap, Chinese uh, USB style adapters. You can buy them for your iPhone, your iPod Touch uh, and all sorts. Um, and again, made in China, unfortunately. And, uh, and this is what happens when you buy this cheap crap from China. Um, these are the internals. You've got... Uh, Two pins here, which obviously go into into there. The explosion was so fierce that it's actually blown the connections off of this board. The connections, I think, it's hard looking on the screen at this, but the the connections were made both sides here. Uh, I think this is a tiny little bridge rectifier, and. Uh, some semiconductor device there. It's pretty much toast. Um, I don't know what that is there. I'll have to have a closer look at my glasses off. Hold on a second. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure whether it's an optocoupler device or what it is, but um, it looks like the whole thing has just blown up and has sent the mains, <laughs> have a look at this, I sent the mains flying along, I mean that is totally, totally burnt out inside there, it's, um, this has got a plastic, protective plastic wrap on it which uh, the customer probably should have taken off, if you catch it right you can see where it started to melt the plastic underneath this, uh, this clear film layer, I mean it's, oh, it's just a death trap isn't it these things how on earth these companies uh, in the UK can get away with selling this junk is uh, is beyond me uh, the customer has contacted the eBay member that sold this he got one reply from them saying oh we've sold hundreds we've never had a problem and uh, apparently again according to the customer they are now ignoring his 
uh, eBay messages. The <laughs> the TV just really flashes an error code um, up on the uh, on the LED, and it's uh, yeah, completely dead. Apart from that, so guys, if you're thinking of buying a cheap power supply from eBay for a few quid, fiver, whatever it is, these can be the consequences of uh, of doing that. This is this is the worst one I've um, I've ever come across. You can see uh, just how dangerous uh, that could have been, uh, and I suspect the um, the TV is going to be scrap. I don't think it's very old. This is not a model that I've had into the workshop before. You can see the dongle is plugged in here. Uh, there are numerous pins that are reading short uh, on here. I'll have to double check them and. Uh, obviously make sure that they are not genuine grounds but I suspect there's too many <laughs> measured shorts uh, for it to be correct and uh, that will mean I'm sure a new board um, at God knows what cost I would be unsurprised if that was up near the 200 pound region if it was even available and of course then you've got other assemblies that are connected uh, into this board and uh, obviously the power supply as well so if the customer seemed remarkably calm about this i would be absolutely fuming this tv is i don't know is it five six hundred pounds worth of set and uh, i have a horrible feeling it is going to be a scrapper um, all because of a two or three pound uh, piece of tap from uh, from china so yeah, just uh, hopefully some of the non-forum viewers, uh, just normal members of the public who have come across uh, my normal videos uh, will, will see this and think twice about, uh, about buying one. Oh, it's really particularly unpleasant. Um, I'm not going to bother cleaning this off. I mean, the, 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 the mistakes in the design and manufacture of this, I'm, I'm sure, could be listed one at a time, but I'm not going to waste your time. It's, uh, it's of no interest now. The damage has been done. So, yeah, just don't buy this tat, okay? Just find either a genuine... Um, I mean, these are sold as uh, genuine Apple uh, adapters. They look exactly the same. Uh, to me, the case uh, they'll just normally have the Apple details on the uh, on the end here. Of course, they're all fake. Uh, the uh, genuine Apple ones are very much more expensive uh, than uh, than this one was. Uh, I have never seen one actually blow the terminals, the wire <laughs> terminals off of the board. It really is absolutely uh, hideous. Anyway. Thought you'd all like that one, and uh, if the TV is repaired or scrapped, I'll uh, I'll update you on the forum. Catch you later.